Have you ever gone to NECA or IEC Spark or CES, the Consumer Electronics Show? Here's why you should go. So I like to go to a lot of these things because you end up finding things out before everybody else does. So there's a few different reasons I go. Obviously, I like to go meet people. I get a lot of handshakes and people coming up to me that watch the show. And I like to just be able to communicate and talk to all of these people, meet them face to face. Um, but I also get to talk to a lot of different brands about what they're doing. And that's the killer. That's the like really important thing. A lot of times I know about the things that are coming out that y'all are gonna be installing in the next like six months to a year to two years before y'all even do. And anybody that comes to these events, they get to see like, oh wow, all of these things that we hate out in the field as electricians that are really big problems. And we say like, why hasn't somebody done blah, 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 blah. You find out at these shows that people are, they're actually trying to find solutions for these things. So these are a few things that I think y'all should know about. Uh, these are from the Schneider Electric booth. Schneider, thank you so much for sponsoring this. A lot of this is gonna be green heavy because uh, it's a lot of Schneider products. But I just wanna show you at this one booth all of the different things that these people are doing that y'all probably had no idea were even coming out. So the first thing that they showed us was this Visi packed safety switch. Now, it's a disconnect, right? We call them disconnects, they call them safety switch. That's the corporate name for these things, but it's just disconnects. But they've done a couple of things to these disconnects to kind of change them because it's kind of been the same thing for, you know, how many years? Hi, my name is Miriam Dörfer. I'm a director for product management at Schneider Electric. And um, I'm going to show you safety switches today in our newest release, which is uh, the Visi Pack safety switch. We've been making safety switches for more than 100 years. And so we, what we did is we listened to our customers and our contractors um, to see what we can innovate um, and for this product. And so I, what I want you to take away from um, the NECA this year here in Philadelphia is um, our new VZ packed safety switch. One of the core features or the innovations uh, for this product would be uh, the viewing window. With the viewing window, what you can do is visually see from the outside that your blades are disconnected. And so now Schneider Electric is all about safety and innovation. And um, it's just another layer of uh, safety for this um, safety switch. Another key feature that we added um, is a more ergonomic handle. So now, you know, you can operate this and it will clearly show you the on and off position. Now this is also color coded. And then now you switch it to the off position. Also new is this little hole. Um, you can now operate the safety switch uh, with a hook stick. So typically what we hear from our customers is safety switches could be in you know, hard to reach uh, spots um, up high in the ceiling. Um, so now what you can do is easily operate it with a hook stick. Yeah, another feature when we open the safety switch is uh, those uh, line side barriers. Um, those are important um, because we have to com um, comply with NEC 2020. This is basically uh, for all service entrants, um, there's got to be line side uh, barriers of protection. Yeah, so this is again, this is our new VZ Pack safety switch. Thank you for listening. Another really cool thing that they're doing is source packed. So source packed is a way for you to select from multiple different power sources and isolate one power source from another power source. A lot of people are doing stuff with, you know, solar and they have a, a UPS and a backup generator. So they're changing from different sources with utility failure, but you don't want to back feed the utility with the power sources that you're using. And a lot of times when uh, you're pulling just random parts and trying to put things together, it, it doesn't really solve the problem. So I think that's pretty cool because as more people start adopting solar, this is something that we're going to start seeing a lot of. Hi, my name is Victor Bonatia. I'm the product strategy director with ASCO Power, which is a business unit of Schneider Electric. I'm here today to talk to you about a new product source pack, which is really meant to solve an issue that contractors are facing, where they're having to put together their own solution to provide isolation from a utility for a battery energy storage system so that they can go ahead and use those same battery energy systems as a backup power source. 
So a lot of people are under the impression that if I have solar, if I have batteries, because I have that power available to me, if power fails from a utility, I can use it as a backup source, but it's actually not that straightforward. You need to provide the right isolation and controls to make sure that those other sources from the inverter are not backfeeding the utility for safety issues and compliance issues. A lot of contractors out there are putting together and self-assembling their own solutions using parts from all sorts of different manufacturers, and that's very difficult for them. There's not much standardization in this new energy landscape yet, and that's what we're working to resolve. We're introducing source packs, which helps to resolve that. If you come over here, I have a quick example of what these systems look like. So under normal operation, you have a utility power source feeding power to your facility, as well as an inverter system feeding battery or solar power in parallel to the city, optimizing your energy costs. When the power fails, usually you don't have backup power because the inverter must shut down. But source pack allows you to provide that necessary isolation, allowing then us to send a signal to the inverter system, telling it to turn back on in a grid forming mode and re-energize your most essential loads in the facility. And by having it all together in one pre-qualified package that doesn't have to be self-assembled, it's already tested from a factory, qualified to uh, the codes and standards of the region, gives you a solution that you can trust and that will be reliable to the same levels that people are used to for transfer switch and generator applications. Another thing I thought was really cool was Schneider's pulse panel. So they have a new panel that they've designed that is a split bus panel, meaning it has a one set of buses, bus bars on the bottom, one set on the top. So it has a way for you to isolate. Uh, if you've got like critical loads, say you just want certain things on all the time, you could put those in one section. And if you have other things that you wanna be able to control turning on, turning off, you want the, like that half of the panel to be turned off while the other half is still on, you have the ability to do that. And through Pulse, it connects with Wiser Energy. If you have all kinds of different alternative energy sources, um, you now have the ability to split critical loads and alternative sources, but you have Wiser, which is another way that you can turn on and turn off specific things. Uh, like they have control relays now that they put in panels. So now if you want the ability from an app to be able to turn off like a hot tub and turn off a dryer just so you can charge your EV, and by turning that specific load on, it just gives you a way to be able to remotely control a lot of these things. Hi, I'm Patrick Bizignari with Schneider Electric and I wanted to introduce you guys to our Pulse panel. So what we have here is a QO load center. It's a split bus load center with our critical loads and then your um, the loads that you can have kind of turn off that you're not as worried about in your home if you lose power. Um, built in, we have an automatic transfer switch. You got your main disconnect and then the uh, utility meter. Uh, this is actually a modular unit, so in some uh, utilities, you can have the main disconnect and the utility outside, and then you would have a main lug load center inside your house, in the garage, wherever it might be, with the built-in ATS. Uh, this little green thing is our little symbol for our wiser relay. So that's the brains behind the entire unit. So what that does is that allows you to monitor all your circuits all the way down to your smart devices, whether it's a receptacle or a switch. Um, the whole premise behind this is that everything's together in one cohesive unit. So you have your inverter, which your solar feeds into, but also you have your EV charger, which we have coming out next year, which will also feed, and that gives your power to your battery system. You can have up to three of these in your house. They're giving you 30 kW of additional power. One of the other things that's pretty awesome is that with this Wiser Relay, it goes to a smart device on your phone, right? And that device allows you to do load shedding, and it also just allows you to monitor the circuits, right? So you can see where your power is going, where, you know, if your water heater is taking 30% of your electric bill, you might want to get that change. So this will take about three weeks to learn what your house does. And after that, then you're good to go. And you can get as detailed as you want with the system. So uh, all that's pretty cool, right? Like just to show, like this is just some stuff that y'all had no idea about just from this one booth. 
And there's like 300 booths at this thing. So you can go to every single one of the brands that you love, the things that you install, the things you didn't even know were a thing. Like tons of people are trying to do field service companies right now. So like you can run your business from the field, but even Schneider has the wiser energy thing. And so they are trying to make sure that you can manage the energy. You can control, see the energy and what's going on a little bit higher diagnostics through software of your entire electrical system. So that's why I think you should go to these things. If you've never been to a Nika, you should check it out. Next year is going to be in San Diego. We'll definitely be there. Um, I go to the Consumer Electronics Show, even like tool shows. There's tool shows like Stafta. Um, so if you're like a tool head and you love to see what all the new power tools are, um, it's much more tool driven. But I highly recommend as electricians, as professionals in your field, pick like one event every year to go to and go check out and see what these companies are doing. You're going to be blown away by the things you had no idea are even in development. So love you crazy people. See you in the next one.